Light Yagami and L, two geniuses who have been massively bored from the lack of a proper challenge, and it's not any better when there is no one to actually challenge their constant unending accomplishments. If they didn't get someone of their intellectual caliber, or at least someone close to that level, their boredom would be terminated. And well, they do find one in each other. When L picked up the Kita case and decided to catch his killer, that was when it was inevitable that these two geniuses would be stuck in a thrilling and entertaining match of wits, one with the fate of the world at stake, but to them? Something of greater importance is at stake, and that is their pride. Before discussing that, I'd like to take a much closer look at the relationship with one another, more specifically a debated question within the fandom, and that is, was L lying when he said Light was his first friend? Most people who take the side of yes point out how Sugumi Oba, the author, said that was the case when asked in an interview. However, I don't find this argument to be particularly valid. Sugumi Oba has made explicitly clear that his words are not absolute, authorial intent is irrelevant, and the author is dead. It is up to us to look at the text for ourselves and decide, and there is too much to suggest this. For one, in response to some questions, Oba has made it clear that it is his personal view only. For example, when asked what he thought of everyone discussing the moral ambiguous characters within the series, he replied with personally, I see it as. Another example is that Oba said, my theory is, when he was briefly discussing whether or not Light really switched an Opaka HQ with a fake. What's more is that Oba keeps on persisting how it is up to us, the readers, to decide whether or not something is true, and that the series is about us coming to our own conclusions. He says about Monster's theories on Nier, and he said this about Elle's final words before death. Further, both Oba and Obata, the artists, seem to be questioned for many different things, and a lot of their answers end up contradicting the other, which is more than enough to prove that a lot of what the creator says isn't up to his word only, and there's no absolute answer that can be drawn from his word. Finally, when Oba and Obata are talking about how they didn't really intend for there to be any particularly morally ambiguous and deep themes in the story, and it's all just meant for entertainment, there's an image shown in the caption that says that while the creators didn't intend for these themes to be implemented within the story, the themes still make their way into the story, which very slowly proves that the text on its own is its own separate entity and authorial intent does not affect it. What I'm getting at here is that while Oba did say L was lying to Light about Light being his friend, that does not prove he is actually lying. With all that said, do not get the wrong idea. I do wholeheartedly believe L is lying to Light. When L said Light kind of is my first ever friend, it served as a rationalization as to why he doesn't want Light to be Kira. Except, like, he does want Light to be Kira more than anything. He said it straight up in light space in the Yatsuba arc. He wants the light to be Kira more than anything. He wants to be right more than anything. That said, while I don't think L sees light as a friend in particular, I still do think L enjoys the company of an intellectual equal during an extremely thrilling and difficult case. Plus, I see no real reason as why L wouldn't want light to be Kira. There's nothing to suggest he actually hates Kira when L definitely does not have a strong sense of justice at all. So I mean, why not want light to be Kira? Plus, I think it'd be satisfying if anything for two geniuses who are giving L intellectual company to be the same. That said, I do not think L was holding back at all during the game, contrary to what a lot of people think. Whenever we see L's thought process, he is actually genuinely trying to solve the case and find proof against Light. He's evidently not thinking, I could do this but I don't wanna. Like he could say that for some reason L didn't kill Light when he easily could've, and make it seem like an accident with all the countless resources he has, but Light explains this very bluntly during the second part of the series, saying that this is a battle with our pride at stake. And L, who takes pride in solving cases, would want to solve the Kira case rather than kill the suspect in order to put an end to it. After all, L's ego takes precedence above all else. He does enjoy the company of and the thrilling game with his hyper genius, but first and foremost, he has to satisfy his ego by solving the case and bringing the killer to execution. I even think something's being said here from the fact that L seems to prioritize his pride over the enjoyment of having someone of his intellectual caliber. L's statement of, I want you to be Kira, is a very statement that contradicts the claim that L was not lying about Light being his friend, and that statement is a statement that absolutely reeks of L being an egotistical asshat. So, I think what the text is trying to say is that had L and Light set aside their respective egos, they very well would have been friends. And this represented by how L's statement of Light being his friend is disproven by the revelation of how much of an ego L has. After all, the primary reason as to why Yetzba Arc Light detests L is because of L torturing Light and scrutinizing him for months. The torture and scrutiny spawned from L's pride and ego. They certainly would have been friends if they weren't obsessed with dominating the other and becoming superior. They make good company together with the two G and I finally finding someone of their intellectual capabilities. When Light told L that without L there is no intellectual conversation, it's interesting how that is a part of Light's nice book facade that he has to put up as Kira, and L's response being a part of the series
series of lies, El has to tell in order to combat Kira. Speaking of light, his thoughts on El are something that slightly evolves, I think. He never had any problem going after El and killing El, after all he did a very risky move so as to directly kill El. That said, he still thoroughly enjoys the game he's playing, see his overt exclamations of that. But I think he's still comparatively more hesitant when El told Light that Light was his first friend. I don't think he's pretending to be shocked. Look how the panel zooms into his eyes, accompanied by the three dots which prove that there isn't much he's thinking at the moment, and his expression should be taken at face value. A couple chapters later, when he was saying he was playing along and he couldn't care less about El, he sees his facial expression completely obscured with his face turned around, signifying an inner conflict. A cute always accompanying moments when Light is in emotional turmoil because of matters concerning his family. What's more is that during the second part of the series, Light said that he got too emotional, and so that's how El cornered him. Then he thinks back to when El confined Mesa and Light had to enact an elaborate plan involving himself being confined. I thought about what that meant, and perhaps it could have been Light not destroying the evidence linking to Mesa being the second Kira? No, because there was way too much evidence and it would be impossible for Light to destroy all of it. So the only thing that seems to make sense is that Light getting emotional involves Light being guilt tripped by El. It makes sense for Light being genuinely affected because El said this in an attempt to guilt trip Light, meaning El, a master of psychoanalysis, must have known that this was something that would affect Light. This means that there may have been opportunity where Light could have killed L and get the upper hand but didn't go for it. I wouldn't know because I'm not as smart nor creative as Light, so I wouldn't really know what potential things he'd do which I have overlooked. But judging from what Light said, it's apparent he was holding back, perhaps unconsciously. That said, after months of dominating L with an elaborate plan, Light killed L's sense of hesitation and felt gleeful about it for obvious reasons. But he could have been bored during the time to get Jen from how excited he got when he heard Nier and Melo are L's successors. I find the dynamic between Light and L to be pretty interesting, two conflicted genius egotistical assets who simultaneously need each other for the thrills but overtaken by their respective lust for victory and egos. Anyways, like this video if you find it enjoyable and be sure to subscribe more to catch similar content in the future.